right, folks. Good to see everyone tonight. Well, good to be seen by everyone tonight. I'm Junior Brown. This is the lovely Tanya Ray Brown. And uh, the Junior and Tanya Ray Brown Show. Here it is. <laughs> That I'm quite a flirter But I've been a good boy all of the time And I wouldn't do nothing to hurt her Children I hide for spending the night With Betty Lou, you are at us I'm sleeping alone in this wreck I own I broke down south of Dallas At the break of dawn, she better not be suspicious. Cause I'm about at the end of my rope, and she better not act too vicious. Covered with grease from my head to my feet, my hands are cut and callous. I've been on my books on a broke down truck, just a broke down solid Dallas. tune up on the old truck there right at the end <laughs> broke down south of Dallas <clears throat> the song that we usually start this show off with well pretty much every time and uh, kind of I guess our theme song in that regard wouldn't you say Tanya Ray I'd say. all right well the requests are rolling in folks <laughs> I, I see one up on the board <laughs> uh, for lifeguard Larry and we will sure honor that request here in just a minute oh jimmy jones my goodness somebody Ooh, that's going we back. don't yeah we don't <laughs> we don't get many requests for that one uh, you know i write most of the songs here that we do on the show and uh, on our live shows as well and um that's one i'm awful proud of uh, did it on the down home chrome album and it's a recitation i think uh, my only recitation that i've ever attempted and uh, it was kind of, a, I guess, prolific in a way, um, or uh, prophetic, I should say, because uh, it's all about uh, a boy who, uh, who joins up and goes to war, and then um, he's, al he's always wandering off when he's a little boy, and then when he's in his platoon there uh, out of the war, he wanders off at night. but keeps his uh, fellow soldiers from getting ambushed and uh and then right after that it seems like that's when they started all the wars <laughs> and uh after i released that song and uh so it was kind of i don't know kind of strange the last war we had had was vietnam and then we got into all this other entanglements uh in the i guess starting in the uh the the 90s um, 
But anyway, I don't want to get too far flung off of that. We want to thank you for your tips. We are playing four tips tonight, as always, on our live streaming shows. And you can go to Venmo or PayPal, and we sure appreciate that. We need the money, I guarantee you. This, this whole COVID nonsense has been really hard on musicians, as you, as you know. And uh, so this is how we're doing it now. Um, the link is in the chat right there on your screen, a little box. You can go and uh, give whatever you can. We appreciate all tips. And our top tipper will receive whatever you want them to receive. Whatever well, it's usually an album, album and a, and a poster. poster. Mm -hmm. But this week I have something extra special to send to the top tipper. <laughs> Junior Brown for president. Oh, no. No, thanks. I don't want that job. <laughs> no way. Uh, get with, like get with it, not to be confused with quit with it. <laughs> get with Junior Brown. This is, uh, has a little picture of a gitch deal on it, a little hat, and it's a bumper sticker. So you can put this on your car, and uh, I don't think anybody will get mad at you for having this. You don't, probably don't want to put a political sticker on your car. <laughs> You can, it's a good way to get somebody uh, waving at you with the fi middle finger, depending on which side of the, the political spectrum they lean towards. But this is, uh, this is great, and uh, there's not a lot of these left. Uh, I've, we printed up a few, uh, Karen Dubois, back when we had our fan club. And, uh, it's been so, a few years. been a few years, yeah. And digging I, I, in the basement. Digging in the basement, <laughs> smells a little moldy. And, uh, we don't charge extra. But it, no, we don't charge extra for the mold, but... <laughs> We've got, uh, it'll go right on your bumper just fine. And, uh, and of course it helps me. I need all the advertising I can get. Now look at those, look at all those requests up on the yep. board going up. Get just, busy. Yeah. And uh, we'd love to answer some of those. I wish I could remember Jimmy Jones because um, it is a great song and probably the first time it's ever been requested by uh, anyone but my granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, we want to mention Green Hall. We actually do have a gig, two gigs coming Ooh. up, believe it or not. The people at Green Hall in Green, Texas, G-R-U-E-N-E, -E, the little old German town right outside of Austin, have, uh, well, I think we're just about sold out on yeah, that show. Yeah, just about sold so out. I don't know why I'm mentioning it, but uh, <laughs> we will be there on next the, Friday night. Next Friday night, the 23rd, 23rd. and then on the 25th, I don't think this show is, is sold out. It's the Mucky Duck in Houston. McGonagall's Mucky Duck in Houston. I think you, they still have plenty of tickets there available. And the thing about uh, McGonagall's, if you're not in the Houston area, we are going to be broadcasting that live, that performance. That's so right. you can go on Facebook Live and watch us next Sunday night. And feel free to tip on that show. That's yes, going to be it. We're going to get tips because. The Mucky Deck is really a small venue, yeah. and I think they can only, what they say, get 28 people in there. So yeah. that doesn't make for much, you know. No, and that's <laughs> why we have to supplement it with tips. And so we're going to do two shows. So. Two shows. Uh. So we appreciate your tips now and then as well. And uh, Matt, our trusty man behind the uh, technical end of all this, he makes it possible, Matt Riney, uh, he says he will post the link to the to the tickets for the Mucky Duck show there in Houston. So we look forward and to green. Well, I don't know about green. I think that's already posted. Okay. But uh, anyway, so thank you for doing that, Matt. And uh, we look forward to seeing you at, the, at one of those, one, at least one of those shows. Because, man, we miss the live music. And I know everybody else there does as well. Okay, well, I'm going to quit talking here. And. Uh, try to answer some of these requests, but before I do, I want to uh, say on a serious note, uh, we lost our dear, dear friend and great, great country music legend, Johnny Bush, yesterday. And Johnny was a dear friend of us, ours and uh, a big influence on me and my music. And uh, he even worked as a, our drummer for a little bit. Uh, uh, few shows he played drums for us which I thought man well, I, was, I was so honored to have him do that you know he played drums for Ray Price back in the day and uh, and some other 
folks were Willie Nelson and uh, and for and and then he had his solo career, which he, you know he had the, the big hits of, uh, that that he had, uh, Whiskey River being the biggest one. Uh, but then you know, well known as a singer and everything, and then he he offered to to fill in on drums for me, and I just I was really honored that he did that. And uh, just there's so many memories I have about our friendship, but uh, I'd like to do a song for Johnny right now. This is. One of one of his more famous ones. If you can say you love me, say you hate me, and that you regret each time. I held you tight If you can Be mine forever And forsake me If you can Undo the wrong Undo the right It was right When you loved me wrong when you held another time so before you go away and leave me lonely if you can undo the wrong undo the right it's too late Say your heart is filled with sorrow. You can't undo what's done. Why do you try? So before you go away and leave me lonely, if you can undo the wrong. Undo the right It's too late to say Your heart is filled with sorrow You can't undo what's done So before you go away and leave me lonely, if you can undo the wrong, undo the right, if you can undo the wrong, undo the right. Johnny, we miss you, Johnny. <laughs> Her towel and a suntan lotion. But she was swimming toward a lifeguard and paid no attention to me. Started acting faint and a, a little winded. Then I saw the lifeguard dive on him. And when he pulled her out, I swear that he winked at me. She's a getting mouth to mouth first day from good old lifeguard land. Out of the sea. Heavy, best. She's breathing heavy from her chest, but she don't look really like she's hurt too bad. On me. It's mouth to mouth resuscitation. I him quite a reputation, but it's only pretty girls in the emergency. I wish those babes would learn to swim and quit.
Quit parading around for him <laughs> In those hippy suits Not much he don't see The good mouth to mouth first day A good old lifeguard lad The expert pulling girls out of the sea Best. She breathing heavy from her chest But she don't look like she's hurt too bad to me Pretending to be sick You got them waiting in line As far as the eye can see I wish he quit picking the flowers And get back up there on his tower And leave one of those pretty bathing caves for me But no, she's getting out to my first day A good old lifeguard Larry The expert Girls out of the sea. She's breathing heavy from her chest. She don't look the right. She's hurt too bad to me. She don't look like she's hurt too bad to me. Larry, by request. All right. And I forgot to mention a minute ago when we are doing those live shows down there in Texas, we will have our full band. So uh, be looking for that. I forgot to mention that because we, we, we do pretty well as a duo, but we, uh, we're used to having our full, our full group. And, uh, of course, that was... Many months ago, <laughs> and we're hoping to get back to that touring regimen that we enjoy doing, running up and down the road, ringing the old cowbell for the, the touring Junior Brown Band. <laughs> All right. And we, we again commend those, those uh, gutsy club owners for making this getting us back into live music whenever, wherever they can. All right. Well, all right, let's tell you what, let's, let's say, I think it's a long walk back to, from someplace to somewhere else anyway, a long walk back to San Antonio by request. Here it is. <laughs> The Texas sun is blazing and I need a place to rest my weary bones Whatever got me this far has long since left me out here all alone Now it sure is a long walk back to the sun and dawn I tried to take her out of Texas Somewhere near Dallas Left me on the highway all alone Man, it sure is a long walk Back to San Antonio
gonna head right back to Texas Change your address and the number on her phone Now it's sure is a long walk back to San Tennessee to Texas. I know because I walked the other way. <laughs> yep, we've all done some walking from time to time. All right, well, the requests are still pouring in. I don't see all of them up there, but I see enough of them that's going to keep me busy for a little while. But uh, right now, I think it's time for Tanya Ray to sing one, one of the requests. Okay. Somebody requested Handyman. I think I hope they're awful <laughs> handy with the checkbook. <laughs> Once again, folks, if you like what you're hearing tonight, please give us a tip. Uh, no. And I don't want the kind of tip like, you know, don't do any more shows. That's, that's not a good tip. <laughs> but uh, go to Venmo or PayPal right there. The link is in the chat part of your screen there. And uh, please, please be generous. We appreciate it. Here's one that uh, we kind of wrote this on a rainy afternoon, as I recall. And it's a good one. Tanya Ray, take it away. All right. <laughs>
on your hay. <laughs> All right. The Handyman. Well, I made sure I was the handyman in that song because I got because I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you can have creative control. You just write the songs. All right. Well, we are looking at the list now. Oh, we've got a request for the that song. I on, like that one. Yeah, I do too. It uh, makes me cry. <laughs> that one about the uh, the Irish family. The beautiful Irish family? That's not the one I was talking about. The lovely hula hands. Yes, I know them. I know them well. Yeah, was, <laughs> was that the one you said you liked? No, I like My baby don't dance to nothing but earnest. Oh, That's what I like. okay. Well, we can. I didn't see that, but uh, there it is. You want to do that one right now? Tanya Ray, come sure. back. Tanya's taking a break. <laughs> no, bre no breaks for the band. <laughs> My granddaughter gave me a going away present yeah, the she's, other day. She's got a little cold. And I think she's singing pretty well for, uh, for having a cold. That ought to be worth a couple of tips right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, by request. Remember Spencer Starnes when we recorded this thing. He said, my baby don't dance to nothing but Elmer Fudd. Ha ha, funny, funny. <laughs> Silly Wabbit. Tribute to one of my big heroes in this, what's left of this business. Called My Baby Don't Dance to Nothing But Ernest Tubb. All right, here it is. Got a gal that's mighty peculiar. She got a funny state of mind. Cause she likes all kinds of singers. She don't only dance to just one kind. She likes to hear Hank moan the blues or Bob Will's faded love. But my baby don't dance to nothing but Ernest Tubb. I wonder why in tarnation she got such a strange fixation. She won't ever dance with me unless it's a song by old E.T. I guess waltzing across Texas must be in her blood Cause my baby don't dance to nothing but Ernest Tubb To is a Texas troubadour. My friends don't understand it. How I ever fell in love with a gal I don't dance to nothing but Ernest Tubb. I guess my incarnation, she got such a strange fixation. The reason if I could learn it, why she'll only dance to Ernest. I guess waltzing across Texas must be in her blood Cause my baby don't dance to nothing but Ernest Tubb Oh, my baby don't dance to nothing but Ernest Tubb All right, a tip of the hat and a ring of the old cowbell to our good friend Ernest Tubb. Big, had a big effect on me when I, when I was a young, knee high to a grasshopper kid. Uh, well, yeah, I could say flipping the dials around on the TV. Nobody told. You know that song I was country when country wasn't oh, cool. Yeah. Yep. Well, I can relate to that because <laughs> none of my friends they were all listening to the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and that kind of stuff. And I was listening to Ernest Tubb. I think that's why I was a little. Uh, odd to a lot of folks but uh, I was uh, flipping the dials around on the TV all three channels mm -hmm. yeah we had a lot of them back then <laughs> and I would watch the Ernest Tubb show and uh, 
Still watching those old reruns whenever I can. Okay, well, the requests are still coming in there. Let's do that, uh, that one about that, that family, the hula hands. The lovely hula hands. I'm being silly about that, but we actually, it's a Hawaiian standard song and uh, one, one we didn't write. And we recorded this on the, I believe it was the Junior High album, huh? Maybe. Yeah, it was on the Junior High album. I think that, I think that may have been the only album it was on, but here it is, by request. Let's get in that Hawaiian state of mind. Lovely hula hands, graceful as the waves in motion, riding like the ghosts over the ocean. Lovely hula hands, Kalima Wadi. Lovely hula hands, telling of the rain in the valley. Swirling winds over the pali, lovely hula hands, Tolima Wadi. I can feel the soft caresses of your hula hands, your lovely hula hands. Every little move expresses so I'll understand all the tender meaning of your hula Fingertips that say aloha. Say to me again, I love you, lovely hula hands, Tolima Wadi. Say to me again, I love you, lovely hula hands, Tolima Wadi, your lovely hula hands. All right. Oh Two Rons <laughs> don't make it right now. Somebody's been digging deep into our catalog. Oh, yes, I tell you, I guess we better dig deep. Yeah, we better start working up that Jimmy Jones and. Uh, Two Rons. Yeah, this fella. <laughs> I told him the story the other night. He, uh, we played at uh, played at the Mineshaft Tavern last night, and uh, a guy named Ron came up. We got to talking, to, and he said. Uh, 
this is my friend. His, his name is also Ron. I said, you know what? I've got a song called Two Rons Don't Make It Right. I said, it's really out there. I said, it's about uh, a guy with his identical twin. <laughs> and the identical twin gets into all kinds of trouble and does all this stuff. And, uh, and the guy's wife sees this guy and she thinks it's him. And blah blah blah, man. What I was really reaching on that, <laughs> one, I think. <laughs> but uh, uh, the the uh, the hook line goes something like, um, uh, "What is it? Uh, can't remember. I'm wrong. She's gone. Two Rons don't make it right. I don't know." Now the screen has gone blank. Well, that's what I get. All right. Well, some one of these days I'll try and work that up. That is also on the uh, Down Home Chrome album. So it must be the same guy. He's got that album, and he's pulling out some obscure songs that I've written. There's a little, oh, there's all kinds of stuff going up there. But uh, here's one that uh, I think we ought to kind of pick it up a little bit. This was my first record, little 45 RPM, little record with a big hole in the middle, one called Too Many Nights in a Roadhouse, Too Much a Wine, a women in song, Too Many Days on a Highway, that are running around all night long. I'll take a good look in the mirror, in the cold gray light of dawn, Too Many Nights in a Roadhouse, they run a little good boy long. Running with my buddies on the wild side And I got me stuck in a rut Out on night with the roadhouse crowd Now I'm down to my last two bucks Pushing way too hard Trying to live too fast Putting too many wrinkles on Too many nights in a roadhouse Run a little good boy wrong Too many nights in a roadhouse Too much of wine Take a good look in the mirror In the cold gray light of dawn Too many nights in a roadhouse They run a little good boy wrong Some kind of life that I was living in It wasn't too hard to tell The blues come around when the sun went down And my days didn't fare too well I had a shooting want a taste of the good life Till the good Lord came along He said too many nights in a roadhouse Is run a little good boy wrong Too many nights in a roadhouse Too much wine, women and song Days on a highway, and I run around. Take a good look in the mirror, in the cold gray light of dawn. Too many nights in a roadhouse, they run a little good boy around. Too many nights in a roadhouse, they run a little good boy around. What was hey, Jay, Jay Neiman's request? I knew you were going. Wasn't that it? I think you're right. Okay. Okay. Jay you Neiman, now, he's a regular viewer of our show, and he gets there. He gets his seat early. Let's just say that. <laughs> he gets a front row seat. He's always right there with the tip. <coughs> Excuse me. Right there with the tip, uh, like a day or two early, right? Yes, he is. And he'll request from time to time, he'll request a song. <laughs> I've got a frog in my throat. Hold on. Mm. 
too many nights in that old roadhouse, huh? We have, well, we're singing the blues now because we ain't had enough nights in the roadhouse. <laughs> for, for, you know, they've opened up the bars a lot of, in, in a lot of these, um, a lot of these states have opened up bars. So, yeah, people can go get drunk. Oh, we're out. Great. Big deal. Where's the music, you know? Uh, we we don't we don't uh, we don't endorse the alcohol. We know it's part of these clubs and uh, not all of them, but a lot of the a lot of the live venues that we play do sell alcohol. Like I say, we don't care one way or the other about that. But when they cut, when they get, when they sell the alcohol and they won't sell the music, there's something wrong with that, don't you think? I concur. Okay, she's sitting there going, oh, <laughs> watch what you say. She like roll out the soapbox. Sure. Well, this is our <laughs> chance to, to vent, right? Uh, oh, man. I have Talk. to say hi to Adam Ahrens <coughs> also. Hi, Adam. We'll see you next week. Are you going to bring your ukulele and <coughs> sit in with us at Green Hall, hopefully? Yes, Adam. <clears throat> good to see you. I mean, good to be seen by you, and we look forward to seeing you. Hey to Rose. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, he's going to come out uh, to Green Hall, like you yep. said, and bring his ukulele and play a couple songs with us. All right. Well, let's do that request that uh, this one kind of did real well for us several years ago. Uh, just about took us off hamburger and put us on steak for a while. It was... Uh, I got a CMA award out of this one. It's called... Well, you know it. It's good to see you, baby. It's been a long, long while. We're both a whole lot older and seen a lot of miles. But things are really different now since the good old days. And you've been in some trouble since we went our separate ways. Well, I have to say hello, maybe some other time instead Cause you want it by the police And my wife thinks you're dead Somebody spread the rumor that you had lost your life At least that's the way I heard it And what I told my wife Now here you're showing up again And talk is getting round I can see that one of us will have to leave this town If you think that I want trouble Then you're crazy in your head Cause you're wanted by the police And my wife thinks you're dead Just up and disappeared Nobody knew what happened Where you been for all these years Now trouble's what you're looking like Cause trouble's where you been And I can see the kind of trouble You could get me in You better pay attention To every word I say Cause you wanna call the police And my wife thinks you're dead to my wife and I don't ever break the law I don't know where you're headed for but I know where you've been we reminisce now let's just go our separate ways again go find another ex-sweetheart to hang around instead cause you want it by the police and my wife thinks you're dead what's that? Oh, we're in Europe now. 
I said you wanted my dear police and my wife thinks you're dead. All right, by request. There it is, our big hit video. And I don't know if they can still access that video. Do you oh, think sure. they can? Yeah, you bet. They get... Talk on the mic where they can hear you. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. <laughs> All right. Uh, that was a great video. We had a, we had a very tall lady do the, uh, do pl play that sort of my co-star in the video. Her name was Gwendolyn Gillingham, and we're still in touch with Gwendolyn. Yep. We had tried to get her sister, who was even taller, and the sister couldn't make it, so she sent the short one, which is Gwendolyn was about, uh, well... Six, seven. Six, seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was the short one in the family. Yeah. So. And, and she married a basketball player. He's uh, taller than she is. Yeah, he's seven foot one. <clears throat> yeah. So, anyway. So yeah, anyway, we're Facebook friends. That's a great video, and I still get a kick out of watching it. Uh, Steve Lane was one of the Keystone cops in there. and uh, <laughs> Yeah, I always get a kick out of that. All right, so we are looking at some of the requests here. Um, Want to remind you again, if you're enjoying what you're seeing tonight, please feel free to tip us. We need those tips coming in, uh, buying some groceries. And I uh, want to thank you all for your tips last week and the week before. And thank you for the ones you're giving tonight. Uh, you can go to Venmo or PayPal. And the link is in the chat. The link is in the chat. The link is in the chat. Uh, which is... Tech Talk for computers. I have no idea where the chat is. The only website I've ever accessed was Webb Pierce's guitar shaped swimming pool. Kind of a tourist site attraction. Website. <coughs> Tanya, that was a joke. I, uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, let's have some. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> or like Steve Lane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I think it's time for maybe you to do another one. And then I'm going to answer Jay Neiman's request. Oh, righty. I you want you to do one of those songs that and we had, I think we've, we've done them once or twice here on the live stream shows. And they took, there's, there's two songs that we wrote 30 years ago, never finished, and then finally got around a couple months ago. We... We finished them up. So sometimes it takes 30 minutes to write a song, as in the case of the last one you heard, My Wife Thinks You're Dead. That took about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. This next one took 30 years. But oh, <laughs> which is because you set it down. And it set lost, it down. And lost it. Yeah, it got some mold on it. <laughs> but, uh, but it's a good one. And uh, they're both, they're both uh, the, two, the two new old ones are very good. And uh, <laughs> would you like to do Sunshine's Back in Style? Sure. Okay, let's do it. I'm so glad I've got you for 
The blues are out and the sun shines back in style. Sunshine's back in style. I think you need a ring of the old cowbell for that one. I was getting kind of nasally on that. Uh, I can feel it. No, My nose was, stopping up. That was very good. Oh, very man. good. And uh, That's a good song. It is. It's a kind of an anti-blues like an anti song. Sunshine's right up my alley. back in style. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, I don't play any blues, but I can make you feel bad, so it works out to the same thing. Yeah, and we're, let's do a little bit later on, if you're up for it, we'll do that other song that took 30 years, do you think? I don't know, I don't know, I'm kind of... Are you... She's got a little bit of a cold, as we said earlier, but, uh, man... It's <clears> not COVID. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Now, uh, we've got a whole list of requests over there, and I don't know if I can do... Well, I can do some of them. There's one for the little Rivy Airhead. She got a, a Buick Riviera with a 401. She ain't no rocket scientist, but she's a lot of fun. She got a head full of air and a foot full of lead. She's my pretty little red Rivy Airhead. My pretty little red ribby 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 airhead. She's not too smart, but she can really move a sled. She's my pretty little red ribby airhead. <laughs> well, I remembered a little tad of that. That is from the. Now I know that guy must have that album. We. We might have to get that old boy some more albums, but that's off of the Down Home Chrome record as well. And uh, I don't know, is that out of circulation, that record? Can, can that still be bought? Uh, I don't know. I had a hard time getting it. You might have really? to go online. You might find it somewhere. I, I yeah. can buy quantities of it. It's, uh, it's a good record. I'd hate to see it just go out of availability. But okay, we've got to anyway. answer Jay Neiman's request. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Uh, Call, I knew you was going, but you didn't have to go all the way. One off of our, uh, I think it's a Get With It album, yeah. Well, I knew you was going, but you didn't have to go all the way. Right out of my life and into his arms to stay. You got tired of me, but you were supposed to be back someday. You was going, but you didn't have to go all the way. You said you needed time for a little peace of mind. You'd be back 
in a week or so. Then a week turned into a month or two. Now it's been about a year ago. And all the time I believe you still wanted me. But he was working on you every day. I knew you was going, but you didn't have to go all the way. I knew you was going, but you didn't have to go all the way. And into his arms to stay We got tired of me But you were supposed to be back someday I knew you was going But you didn't have to go all the way I knew you was going, but I never was a knowing that you'd ever want to go that far. And now you got a man with a cold wet hand telling everyone how happy you are. If I'd have never known you would never come home, I'd have never let you go that day. I knew you was going, but you didn't have to go all the way. I knew you was going, but you didn't have to go all the way. To be back someday. You was going, but you didn't have to go all the way. Yeah, I knew you was going, but you didn't have to go all the way. <laughs> I went all the way there on the ending. Yeah, no holding back. Woo! All right. Well, how's everybody doing? <laughs> it's kind of strange without a live audience. I'm still not terribly used to it. I'm, you know, we've done little TV shows and things before, and we always like to have a some sort of a studio audience, if, even if it's just a cameraman going, <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good. Uh. Least yeah, last week we had uh, we were at Todd's garage. Yeah, we had Todd and Sherry and a couple of neighbors. Yeah, a couple of neighbors, and it kind of makes it you know yeah. a little bit less like you know talking to the wall. But anyway, <laughs> we're talking to the camera, and we know that we have a lot of faithful listeners, and some new ones come along every week, and we like to get the get the new blood in there as well. And uh, you know, again, thank you for the tips. We we do need them, and uh, PayPal and Venmo there on your screen. So, again, thank you for that. And uh, man, these uh, these these things keep coming up, and uh, I'm gonna have to answer as many of them as I can. Uh, what do we got? Got to get up every morning. That was the flip side of too many nights in a roadhouse on that little 45 RPM, my first attempt at a, at a record uh, on my own. And we've got a request for the gal from Oklahoma, which is written about her. And uh, which one would you like to do first? What would you like me to do first, I should say? Got to get up. Got to get up every yep. morning? Got to get up. All right. Before I do that, let's, let's do this. I got a star on my car and a one on my chest. A gun on my hip and the right to arrest. I'm the guy who's a boss on this highway. Well, watch out what you're doing when you're driving my way. If you break the law, you'll hear from me, I know. I'm working for the state. I'm the highway patrol. Well, you'll know me when you see me because my door's painted white. With my siren is screaming and my flashing red light. I work all day and I work all night. Just to keep it long. I do what's right. If I write you out a ticket, you better drive slow. I'm just doing my job on the highway patrol. I'm the highway patrol, the highway patrol. My hours are long and my pay is low. But I'll do my best to keep you driving slow. I'm just doing my job on the highway patrol.
fast, I like you shouldn't do. You can bet your boots I'm coming after you. If you wanna race, then get on a racetrack. Well, if you try to run away, I'm gonna bring you back. I'm here to keep all the speed and driving slow. Just a doing my job on the highway patrol. Yeah, I'm the highway patrol, the highway patrol, thank you. My hours are long and my pay is low, but I'll do my best to keep you driving slow. Just a doing my job, I'm the highway patrol. I'm just a doing my job, I'm a highway patrol. I drop my pick and I'm out of control. <laughs> Did you forget to put picks in your pocket? Yeah, I was reaching in my pocket and there was a kind of a dry socket. <laughs> well, that's, oh, that's my new Close look. That that's oh. part of my new. <laughs> Where's the gold chains? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were in a little bit of a hurry. I had just gotten out of the shower and. Uh, you forgot to button your shirt. <laughs> forgot to button the shirt. Got the tie on there, all right. Oh, man. But, uh, now we're sharing an intimate moment with the audience uh, here. Hmm, wee. Honey, let me fix you. What? Well, you're, what all, is? you're all crumpled. No, no, no. Fix your crumples. I'll get it done. Oh, all crumpled. <laughs> well, I'm glad I've got an anti frumpler here. <laughs> uh, we've been, she's been unfrumpling me for the last 33 years, and uh, <laughs> I thank her for that. Mm. And, uh, I tell you what, let's show them what, what, the, t what the top tipper gets, all right? Okay. Okay, what do we, we got a poster and we got an album, and I've already shown them the bumper sticker. You're going to get a bumper sticker, very rare item. First of all, you're going to get an autographed mask. That's, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. No, we've got enough of those. I'm going to come up and show the camera what they're going to get. Tell them what it is. It's just not the phone book. It is a junior high album. It's to, to promote the album. Yeah, it was to promote the junior high album. It's can you see that? Yeah, you can see it perfectly. No, oh, that's good. Okay, you're going to get that. And then... An album. An album. An album. Oh, it's okay. Okay. They can see it when they get it. Yeah. They add to the suspense. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, look, we got Broke Down South. We opened with Broke Down South of Dallas. Maybe they hadn't tuned in when they requested that. Uh, gal from Oklahoma. Got to get up every morning. Let's do that. Okay. <laughs> The first ones I wrote and the first one I recorded. Dynamic Records. Speedy Sparks down there in Austin, Texas. Speedy, if you're watching in, this is for you, all right? <laughs> Out all night with some strange guy waking me up at half past five. Staying out late is all you do It's getting pretty plain to see The night owl you turn out to be I gotta get up every morning Just to say goodnight to you 
Well, one look at those bloodshot eyes and my head starts to hurt. I'm coming home with alibis when I get up for work. Had as much as a man can take. So baby, quit staying out so late. I gotta get up every morning just to say goodnight to you. And there you are, falling out of someone's car. Told me you'd be home at half past two. The break of dawn is your best friend. I'm telling you, gal, it's better, and I gotta get up every morning just to say good night to you. For you to change your schedule is something that I doubt. Every day I punch the time clock About the same time you pass out My morning coffee's your nightcap You little all-night maniac I gotta get up every morning Just to say goodnight to you I gotta get up Just to say, just to say, just to say good night to you. Just to say goodnight to what's left of you, darling. All right, there it is. By request again, man, we've done so many requests, we're hardly putting in anything that aren't requests on this show, but that's good. We like to answer those requests and uh, make you feel like you're getting something for your tips. Oh, did I say tips? Oh, I, I tipped them off. Tips, yes, indeed. <laughs> and uh, we, we need those tips big time. So send them in to us, PayPal and Venmo, right there in the, in the part of your screen. The chat part, the link to the, link to the, t the tipping is in the chat, the chat square. It's a little squared off part of the screen, right? You, you don't know? It's a section of the screen, of their computer screen. Yes, okay. All right, now let's see. Let's look down there. Oh, man. Oh, yes, we need to do this one. I think we did this last week. And I told a little story about how I wrote this coming back from yep. Corpus Christi, Texas with a... <coughs> A guitar that had been put back together for us and the whole trip was like a black and white movie that we took the back way back and it was just like stepping into a time warp and I kind of got into a an old-timey state of mind and I just wrote this one with that guitar that had just been fixed the guitar was in tune though she treats me fair and I never let her down She treats me fair and I never let her down She's the gal from Oklahoma, they call her Tanya Ray Brown She's the sweetest little gal from Shelter to Brush Hill She's the sweetest little gal from Shelter to Brush Hill. I'm proud.
tried to be a man and I know I always will She comes from Oklahoma where the grass grows high I'm gonna stay with her till the day that I die Till the day that I die Till the day that I die With a gal from Oklahoma Till the day I die Whistle blowing by old 75. I hear a lonesome whistle blowing by old 75. That's Highway 75. It reminds me of my darling where she always lived her life. She comes from Oklahoma where the grass grows high. I'm gonna stay with her till the day that I die, till the day that I die. Till the day that I die With a gal from Oklahoma Till the day I die Comes from Oklahoma where the grass grows high. I'm gonna stay with her till the day that I die. Till the day that I die. Till the day that I die. With a gal from Oklahoma till the day I die. She treats me fair and I never let her down She treats me fair and I never let her down No oh, sir She's the gal from Oklahoma They call her Sissy Brown from Oklahoma. That's you. Take a bow. Take a bow. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> All right. I put another one up there. All fried up. All fried that. up. I've been there <laughs> before. <laughs> Too many nights in a roadhouse and you get all fried up. Yep. You know? Or as Michael Ballou. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> as Michael Ballou would say, <laughs> keep the home fries burning. <laughs> well, uh, I'd kind of like to ha hear you do that. Um, no, I, I'm that too other one, up. really too stopped yeah. up. Well, next week then, maybe, huh? Okay, <laughs> give give the folks something to look forward to next week. Oh, but we probably won't do one next week because we're going to be oh, we won't. In Green Hall and Mucky Day. Oh, the week after that then. Yeah. Um, would you consider doing the duet a duet with me? Would you try that one? We could try. Okay. Um. <laughs> 
Let's do that after. That's a slow one, so yeah, we'll do. All fired. We'll all do. Far, see all if, fried up. See if I can remember that. All fired up. I wrote this one for the which album? Hmm. Come on now, Junior. Come on. I think it was for the mixed bag. No. No, no, no. It was for Long Walk Back, the Long Walk Back album. I remember now. And we had a request for this a few weeks ago, and I I worked it up. Uh, you done forgot it. Done forgot, forgot it. it, yeah. Just because I write them doesn't mean I remember them. And uh, this was... Uh, <clears throat> A lot of words to this. Let's see if I can do a little better job than I did last time. <laughs> it ain't no good getting low down when you're looking to get thrown in the can. I drive a 90 mile an hour, getting speeding tickets from the man. Well, I'm just mad about this girl, but she's gone and I'm mad at the world. I just laid a patch of rubber down the road about a quarter mile long Cause I'm all fired up, I'm all fired up and lonesome Got a chip on my shoulder and I'm acting just a little too tough I've been revving up the motor and tonight I'm gonna strut my stuff yeah, I've been roaring like a lion Cause I'm tired of all this crying And I'm tired of being kicked around like a little whoop pup Cause I'm all fired up I'm all fired up and lonesome I'm fired up and lonesome and I'm on a spree That woman ain't gonna get the best of me If you're gonna hang around then I gotta warn you There's no telling what a lonesome fool can do all dressed up, but I got no place to go. But I know a thing or two about driving down a long, lonesome road. I'm just doing the best I can. I'm trying to take my licking like a man. But I'm tired of always feeling like I'm going to be her sitting duck. And I'm all fired up. I'm all fired up and lonesome. And it's going up and down my spine Yeah, I've been spending all my money Just to get that woman off my mind As mad as I can be And I'm mad at what she'd done to me I burn a hole in my pocket With a roll of my last two bucks Cause I'm all fired up I'm all fired up and lonesome I'm all fired up and lonesome. Feeling my wild oats. I think I'll take me a little sightseeing trip. Can you believe it? <coughs> Remembered the words better than, well, that's never, that we won't go there. <laughs> oh, boy, that's a good one. We ought to do that one more often. I like that one. 
Yes, indeed. No comment? I'm getting ready to sneeze. Oh, I'm getting ready to sneeze. That would be the comment. No, here. Here. Social distance, social distance. We have that. Wait. There. Oh, good. Oh, please. You know how sick I am of seeing people driving in their cars, oh, wearing those oh, things? Today? Riding bicycles with it. I mean, come on, man. I, you know? I got a good one. I saw these two people in a van. They were in complete body suits, those uh, white body suits. Like All a hazmat, see, like a yeah, hazmat suit. All you could see was their eyes. It was, it was weird. No, I, <laughs> they were just driving down the street. I, I think they were, you, those were burkas you were looking No. At. <laughs> I, I, I did have to do a double, double take to make sure Yeah, but yeah. it wasn't. All right. Definitely the hazmat well, suits. Uh, on that note, <clears throat> let's see what we, we... Oh, we got a quest for the... Surf? Yeah, it's about surf that time. It is already? Yeah. Where has the time gone? My goodness. <coughs> Freeborn man. KGB. Man, let's, let's try it. Let's try and get as many of these as we can. And again, thank you for your tips, folks. Mm -hmm. ben, Venmo and PayPal there on your screen. Uh, we really, we really appreciate it. And um, I'm glad we're getting all these requests. And, and, you know, most of the stuff is stuff that, that, that I've written, so I'm, I'm double flattered that uh, you're requesting those songs. Um, yeah, let's do that KGB. She's a real Russian beauty, fella like a totin' cutie. She's a whole lot of fun on a date. But she's an undercover agent, and I'm just another fool. She's trying to investigate. Her name is Double Agent Beatrice. Knock him off the third, and she's a threat to national security. In the undercover world, she's a pretty cagey girl. That's why they call her KGB. KGB. KGB, KG is babushka in the land of the free, getting secrets undercover from so many others, but she's only getting loving out of me. I met a gal the other day in a strange sort of way, taking pictures of my house from her car. She said she was a tourist, but she seemed more adventurous than just a girl from the USSR. She was handing out the borscht, so I jumped right in her Porsche and felt a wire going right up my sleeve. By the time we started kissing, half of Moscow was listening to the prisoner of KGB. KGB, KGB, why'd you go and play them dirty tricks on me? Getting secrets undercover from so many others, but you're only getting loving out of me. Got a sexy looking hemline, and them boys back at the Kremlin keep an eye on her every step. But my level never stopped for that cagey Russian cop, and I'm eating all the loving I can get. But I ain't walking down the aisle till she throws away my file, gets those surveillance cameras off of me. I ain't wearing that corsage till there's no more espionage from double agent KGB. KGB, KGB, KGS Babushka in the land of the free, getting secrets undercover from so many others, but she's only getting loving out of me. No, she's only getting loving out of me. KGB. By request, once again, KGB, KGB.
That's Beatrice with a B. All right. Little old ring of the Bill Mack cowbell right there. <clears throat> Little tribute to my dear friend, the Midnight Cowboy, Bill Mack. Okay, now let, uh, let me see what else we got to answer these. Medley. Oh, they, they keep. Go head to the barn. Oh, I still have one more that I want to do. There's oh, one more that I want to answer. That's really not fair. It's there. No, it's not. How do you know? They might be a big tipper. And they'd be disappointed if we didn't answer this. Stupid, stupid. You're stupid all the time. You're stupid, stupid, stupid. Hey, stupid. You're stupid all the time. You don't quit acting stupid. You're gonna lose what's left of your mind. You're drinking way too much liquor, baby. And you're talking all out your head. You're drinking way too much liquor. And you're talking all out your head. You don't quit that drinking. Pretty soon you're gonna be dead
time you come down. From that big city, baby. Wanna show you what our country boy can do. The next time you come down. I'm gonna show you what a country boy can do. I'm just uh, playing on this good steel, baby. And I'm just as stupid as you. But not quite. listening baby I hope you're listening to what I say You gotta quit that drinking. Quit that drinking. Quit that drinking, baby. And I'm gonna pray for you every day. Stupid, stupid. There it is. My request. Stupid blue. Bye. Uh -huh. 
We have enjoyed bringing it to you. Thank you for your kind donations to our electronic tip jar. <laughs> and on behalf of Tanya, myself, and Matt Riney, we all thank you. And we will see you, I guess, in, a, uh, two in two weeks. Yep. Are you sure about that? Unless we can find a place to broadcast yep. next Saturday broadcast night somewhere some, where there's internet. Somewhere. <laughs> we, we may try it. But uh, be looking for the advertisement, and we will see you soon. Thanks again. Good night. Good night.